All right. What's happening? We're going to the land. land. <laughs> and to see how it is because Dad is mowing. Yes. With a friend. Mom. Yes, we I got am. Got a tractor out there. Yes, we have a tractor out there, and I am beyond like a giddy schoolgirl. <laughs> I'm so I'm glad that I'm getting mowed because it's like six foot. Tall. Yeah, it had gotten very tall. Um, it actually, from the pictures that Nathan had sent me, it looked like it wasn't quite as tall as what we yeah, remember. Yeah, it looked like it's normal grass is cut. Yeah, not and it is. It's all grass. No, it's like, not it like, still like normal. Here. Yeah. Okay. Me. Anyways, we are getting ready to load up and go see it. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. So if you can't tell, I am very excited. <laughs> so it has been like herding cats this morning. Trying to get out all oh, the now like afternoon. I wanted to leave. We don't have like a time frame. I'm just anxious. Um, but we are so excited to get out there and just walk it. We have not stepped so we've been out there, but it's tall grass, so obviously we haven't been able to walk it. I don't think since like the end of August, maybe. Anyway, so you ready? Yep. So I'm making sure everybody's got boots, long pants on. And then we're actually packing clothes to change into because we have a birthday party out in that way. Wow. Today. It just happened to coincide at the same time. And I'm packing the snack bag. Yeah, you're fine with the pants that you have on. Because we'll just walk the moat areas. But I just want to be careful because Nathan has already seen snakes. Fun times. <laughs> you ready? Got your camo gear on? Yep, yeah, but I don't have boots. Yep. right now. Here's a before clip with the pond. A lot of overgrown grass and small brush. I'm gonna try to clear some of it today. This is where we'll start, is right in here. We kind of go that way. And we'll see what we can get to today. We're here, <laughs> there's a cow at the window. <laughs> he did a lot. That's so cool, I know, it looks it's amazing. True. It's your shoes. You see a cow? Well, one is, yeah, he, one, the one. It looks amazing. I'm excited to share Hysia boots with you guys. I got them just in time to be able to use them when we were gonna be doing all the work on the land. I'm a little bit picky about the shoes that I wear, but having these boots made walking around and doing all the work on the land so much easier. Whenever I was doing work around the pond, my feet stayed 100% dry and warm. If you were looking for boots that happen to have a 100 year warranty, Check out Hysia Boots. I will have a link in the description box below as well as a coupon code for you guys. Put in full house and you will receive 15% off your order. Look at mommy. Go, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Is okay to wear it? That, that, I'm going to it. That. <laughs>
it's starting to rain, but I don't even care. Bigger than what you remember. Mm -hmm. The pond actually looked like it got wider. Yeah. After like the rain. Probably expanded. Yeah. Really not bad for a day's work. So we got a path done around the perimeter of the property. I'm going to walk over here and see what it looks like. Walking around dreaming. Wondering where we're going to put a house. I can't make up my mind. Right here. Yeah. I like the idea of having it like caddy corner like towards the road but then yeah, I like think in straight the middle, like towards the road yeah I can't even tell you how good it feels to be out here even in the rain it rained off and on but honestly it cooled it down it just feels so good to be out here. I am <laughs> oh, teared up several times. I'm just overjoyed and happy and just can't wait to actually live on the land next to Jesus and obviously my family. They are the most important things to me in all of the world. Then after those things, <laughs> I have never wanted something so bad as to have our own little piece of land to call home. We've been dreaming of this for a long time and it's been a long bumpy road this past year, but we are just still trying to take each step with faith and with Jesus by our side and our family. Oh, I just, I'm really not very eloquent with words to put, you know, my feelings into words but just thinking a lot of things and praying and it's just absolutely gorgeous Okay, so it is now Monday. So all that work happened on Saturday. And we, well, we had a busy Sunday, but we weren't out here, but we are back out here today to finish up some work. So we were not sure if all of it was gonna be able to get bush hogged or not, but they were able to do all of it, which is just amazing to me. So it's after co-op. Nathan happened to have a three day weekend and have today off. So our plans were after after school work, after co-op, is to come out here. Oh, that's okay. And yeah, you got a fruit snack. And do some work kind of around the pond. There's some, I don't even know what kind of grass it is, but it's pretty tall that, you know, the tractor couldn't get super close to the pond. And then do some, I want to, I'm trying to think, um, weed eat up against the fence line as much as we can, if we can't. And there's some like smallest trees that, we need to cut down too. So we're just kind of out here, just enjoying it, doing a little bit of work, huh? And I brought a bag of seeds <laughs> because I, I'm gonna try to plant some sunflowers while I'm out here because why not? So we're having a tailgate lunch picnic. <laughs> Daddy picked up some food. Go under there, Shady. <laughs> you wanna, no, let's get underneath the tree. 
Yep, that's a caterpillar. Is that poisonous? I don't know, don't touch it. Yes, it is, it's poisonous. Y'all enjoying the shade? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mom, look at that. 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 Look Obviously, there's like, that's not perfect, but. So, our property line is, you know, to this tree line, and then that tree line right there, and then through the pond, and obviously to this fence. Mm -hmm. It's a bank. It's not, they're not in the water. Oh, it's hot y'all. So I'm going to walk over and show y'all progress that they've made around the pond. I've been kind of trimming some stuff that's around the fence line. We're gonna have to get something else because that won't work. Well, work. this no, this works with some stuff, yeah. but this grassy stuff. We need to find something else that will work with that. It's super hot. Mhm. Mm All right. So I'm actually standing on another part of the pond where I've showed it before. I've been standing over there, but and I'm kind of down low in this little. I don't even know what to call it, like a canal. Um. So all that is clear. Obviously, we got to weed eat that, but been pulling that area out. The kids have been amazing big helpers from helping with the littles or working, you know, doing like yard work. I was working some. Yep. Or you can help me trim some stuff. And all the stuff that we cut down just two days ago has dried out so fast. So, and then this area is pretty much cleared out. Look over here and see what Nathan's doing. He's over here now. All right, so we actually agree on where to put a house. Yay. So I think I'm standing in our future house spot. We'll probably stand in the living room or the kitchen. <laughs> so we don't want it too close. I, I want shade from trees, but we don't want to, I almost said plant the house. <laughs> we don't want to put the house up too close to trees for obvious reasons. Actually, I'm, we gotta plant some more trees. We need more shade out here, y'all. Um, so I can't decide, we're undecided though. Do we have the house facing the road? There's nobody out here, like it's a private dirt road. Or have the house actually facing the pond, so that could be our view. And that could look pretty too when you and drive in. And if we added a porch, yeah, we that's true. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Or I have the porch and I overlook the neighbor's cows. <laughs> so eventually we'll also do probably like a metal garage. So right now we were kind of thinking have it face the road and then the garage would actually go over here. <laughs> you hear the birdies, Camden? I was looking at the point who that is. <laughs> yes. Nose. Oh, Nose. goodness. Is my makeup already? No. Oh, that looks like it from here. It's kind of hard to see it's so bright. There's the worker girl. Peyton did a lot of hard work. All right, look what I spy. The wild blackberries. They're starting to bud. So I'm going to leave that. But I cut down some of the bush type things that are growing around it. So maybe it will get bigger. So I was working on editing my video, realized I never closed it out. We had a great time clearing the land. Like I can't even tell you, it just did our heart so much good to get out there and walk it. It all did get mowed. I think I said that. Um, we weren't sure how much we were able to, do, going to be able to do, but we did get it all done, which is amazing. So then when we went back out again, we were trying to clear 
around the pond. We did not finish that. I knew that we wouldn't finish that, but we did get a lot done. Um, <laughs> you say hi? We just now met with Hazel. Yes, so we just met a neighbor across the street. She's very sweet. And um, we're gonna go there on Friday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So I'm gonna close out this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us while we were doing some work on the land, finally. Um, that was a lot of fun, huh? Did you oh, like going out to the land and mowing and all that? Yes, yeah, all so right. weed eating. Yep, and weed eating, all that. Okay, so thank you guys so much. We'll see y'all in the next video. Say bye. Bye-bye. He's got chocolate. <laughs>